Hello, and welcome to our new episode. The beginning of studies is a very powerful experience for everyone. Whether it is difficult, exciting, stressful, nostalgic, or euphoric, it certainly represents a major turning point in the life of every student. When it comes to studying abroad, we know that the experience is accompanied by even more intense emotions and that students need help and support during those days. That's why our international student ambassadors Sara and Natalia are here to tell you some of their experiences when they moved to Slovenia, as well as explain why you need to pay attention to during your first day here and balancing student life with student work and obligations and faculty. So let's start with something that is very important and that mostly concerns all international students, residence permits. Can you tell us something more about the procedures that follow after obtaining a residence permit? important to highlight that once you get your residence permit the process is not yet finished um, i have to say from my personal experience uh, i go well, still because i'm living in the dormitory then i go to the secretary and uh, i acknowledge them that i uh, obtained permit and then they arrange um, submission of my address but if you're not living in a dormitory you have to do it on your own but it is important to know that and uh, once you get a residence permit you also arrange that document as well can you tell us more about the tax number and opening a bank account uh, tax number at the end of June this year. Uh, I needed it uh, uh, and the bank account for my future student job and uh, basically I went to Ljubljana tax office where I filled out the necessary form and uh, provided a copy of the first page of my passport. After that I waited for two weeks uh, and received my tax number at my address in Ljubljana. And uh, when it comes to um, opening a bank account, uh, you have uh, uh, it's good to check uh, what are the requirements and what are the um, stuff that's offered by different banks. Uh, since uh, for students, uh, you can expect some privileges and differences between banks. So I advise you to check uh, what's on the market and choose the best. How flexible are student jobs? Can you easily balance your study commitments, private life and work? I'm going to be direct and straightforward when it comes to this question. And I have to say that given the fact that I'm coming from medical faculty, uh, even though I tried some student jobs, uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, it is uh, very difficult to tackle medical faculty and all the obligations and exams and everything and job as well. I do know that everyone wants to have some extra cash and to have some extra uh, for, for everything we want and we need. But um, maybe uh, on your faculty, or with the, your time management, you can achieve that. I have to say, from my point of view, I couldn't do it. But there is uh, uh, plenty, uh, plenty of jobs on the student market. And uh, if you think that you can um, uh, go by that, I advise you to check and see. And uh, if it fits you, great, go for it. What were your biggest challenges during the first month in a new country, city and environment? And how did you cope with the situation? What did you learn and was it challenging? So for me was definitely finding accommodation and uh, studying course materials in Slovenian. Uh, by the end of September I managed to find a room and uh, move in, uh, which was one of the most important uh, things. Uh, after that uh, lectures began and initially it was quite a challenge to study the materials in a new uh, language. It was hard uh, during the first three months uh, when started the uh, first colloquiums and uh, later exam period. Uh, and uh, my advice regarding studying uh, would be to stay on top of uh, all student obligations uh, from the beginning to, and also to communicate as much as possible uh, in Slovenian with Slovenian uh, colleagues. Uh, and on this way you will adapt to the new way of learning and uh, exam preparation more quickly many challenges in the first month when you come and there's so many stuff you have to do uh, procedures uh, finishing documents uh, uh, temporary residence permit uh, finding accommodation and you can easily get lost with all that jungle of uh, of responsibilities that's just like put on your shoulders uh, but uh, even in that moment I advise you from my personal experience that you take a time to relax to enjoy enjoy that 
that moment, your first contact with uh, with Slovenia, with Ljubljana, to find uh, all to with your colleagues uh, some nice place uh, um, near uh, Ljubljana River to take a coffee or to go to Tivoli for a walk, or if you're more outgoing, you can go to some concert uh, or to go to some uh, theater, cinema, whatever you want. Just enjoy it because Ljubljana has so much, much to offer, and you should try it to feel it definitely thank you see you in the next video